Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. Myself is Suresh, working as a software testing trainer. Okay. So today we are going to discuss about a basic information about software testing. What exactly mean by software testing? As part of software testing, what we have to be learn, we are going to understand about that particular details. Let's get started. Right. The very first activity most of the people will have in a confusion that testing means we can test each and everything. But if I am taking with IT environment, we are getting understanding about in implementing with software testing. So we are not doing any of the hardware testing. Hardware testing is totally different and software testing is totally different. As part of to start our career in the software industry, this is one of the easiest codes to get come into the IT environment here. If I am taking with software testing, what exactly mean by this software testing? Let us understand on it. The simple example is, client has been given some requirements. We need to be take that particular requirements and we have to be tested whether developer has been done with the development according to the client requirements or not. Simple definition of the testing is testing an application based on client requirements. Everyone they will be having their own definitions here. But the simple understanding is testing an application based on client requirements. So we are testing the application by referring with client requirements here. So while doing the testing, we got two types of testing or in general, we can get follow two approaches okay? to get implement with the software testing. We can get implement with two approaches here. In that, one you will be mentioning that manual testing, one you will be mentioning that automation testing. Okay. To perform the testing activities, we are taking with one approach is manual testing, another approach is automation testing. Both are testing only, both are testing only. But the difference is manual testing, we are doing the testing, automation testing also, we are doing the testing. Both are testing only. But the difference is in case of manual testing, need to be do it with the help of human interactions. That means we have to be open application, we have to be enter the data, we need to be get enter username. We need to be get enter with the password. Everything need to be do it with the help of human interactions here. If I am taking with automation testing, doing with the help of tool here. Both are testing only, manual testing, we are making sure that application is working fine. Automation testing, we are making sure that application need to be working fine. In case of manual testing, we have to be do it. In case of automation testing, tool has to be do it here. Okay. In case of manual testing, whenever we are doing with the testing course or as part of manual testing, what are the things we have to be learn? Let us see that. To get implemented manual testing, the first activity, the first activity is understanding with requirements here. Okay. The very first activity we have to be do is we need to be get understand with client requirements. Any of the things you are not getting tested by your own here. First we have to be go through that what are the requirements given by the client. You need to be referred that particular requirement documents and need to be understand that what are the things you have to be tested. To understand that, what are the things need to be get tested, you can refer different documents. One is BRS, another one is SRS, another one is FRS. Still, if required, 
we can refer with mockups nothing but screenshots here so by referring these particular requirement document as a tester need to be get understand that what are all the functionalities we have to be get tested here once we are clear about requirement documents then we have to be come up with one particular plan to get implemented all our testing activities once test plan has been completed once test plan has been completed based on this requirement documents by referring requirement documents we have to be prepare test scenarios once test scenarios has been prepared and reviewed and approved first as a test engineer you are writing with the test scenarios once you are writing the test scenarios lead has to be take care about it taking with the review we got any different reviews peer review or senior engineer review or team lead review once lead got reviewed it and approved it then we need to be get started getting writing with test cases here okay first you are understanding the requirements coming up with the one plan preparing the test scenarios and preparing with test cases here once test cases got completed again reviewed and approved then need to be get started with next step mentioning about test execution need to be take with test execution whenever you are taking with executing the test cases you need to be get compare with expected result and need to be take with actual result while executing the test cases we need to be get compare expected result and actual result if both are matching it will consider test case has been passed if both are not matching it will consider test case has been fail in case of test case has been fail as a tester we need to be report an a defect that we will be mentioning about defect reporting once we got report an a defect it will get assigned to developer developer will fix the defect and again it will reassign to the tester as a tester we guys need to be take care about doing retesting of that particular defect once we got retested if it got fixed it will close it if that defect is not fixed it again we have to be reassigned to the respective developer and the last activity we need to be take care about in getting implementing with test closer activities so if i am taking with manual testing as part of manual testing we need to be go through that what are all the requirement documents are available we need to be get refer this particular requirement documents once we are clear about requirement documents then you need to be come up with the plan once plan is completed need to be get prepare test scenarios after that test cases once test cases has been completed you will be getting build from the developer then we'll take that particular bill doing with the execution while doing the execution we can compare expected result and we can compare actual result both are matching it we can consider it is pass if it is not matching it we'll consider it is a fail in case of fail we need to be report that particular defect so as a tester the major activities we need to be get identify the more number of the defects in application here as part of manual testing we need to be get understand about implementing these activities here manual testing will be started from requirement level again automation testing not required to get started from requirement level further you will be taking with manual test cases these manual test cases we need to be convert into automation script see the understanding manual testing is started from requirement level 
automation testing started from test cases. You need to be take manual test cases. These manual test cases need to be converted into automation script. Okay. So, manual testing, we are saying that need to be do it with the help of human beings. Everything need to be performed by taking with the human interactions only. If I am taking with automation testing, mentioning that doing with the help of the tool here. Okay. Automation testing is nothing but doing with the help of the tool rather than we are performing it tool has to be performed that respective action tool has to be open application tool has to be enter the data it has to be type username it has to be type in a password it has to be perform click activity everything need to be get implemented by tool only but again if i am taking with the tools in a market, we got in a different type of tools. In that, in that, one we are mentioning that open source automation tools, one we are mentioning that commercial tools here. Okay. We got in a two different types here. One is open source, another one is commercial. The meaning of open source, the meaning of open source we can mention that free of cost. Okay. The meaning of open source is free of cost. Just if you are having internet connection, download from Google and you can start work with the tool, not required to invest any of the budget here. In case of commercial tools, you need to be take with license from that particular companies. That means the client has to be get invest some budget for taking with license from that particular companies and after that we need to be get started working with the tools here. So, in case of open source free of cost, in case of commercial it is a licensed. You need to be take license from that respective companies and after that you have to be start working with the tools here. In a market we got in a different type of open source tools and different type of commercial tools here. If I am taking with commercial tools, most example, one you will be taking with QTP and it is considered as a UFT also. Previously, we used to be considered as a QTP. We are getting advanced version that we are taking UFT. For UFT, we got an advanced version is lean FT here. First is QTP and then UFT and then lean FT. If you want to be work with the QTP, first you have to be take license from the respective companies and after that you have to be start working with the tool here. Another one is mentioning about taking with RFT. We got in a one more tool mentioning about taking with test complete. There are lot of tools are available in a market which are related to commercial here. If you want to be work with these tools, first you have to be take license from the respective companies and after that you have to be start working with the tool. Now if you take with current IT market, any of the clients or any of the projects, they are not interested in getting working with commercial tools here. So, most of the IT industry is looking for open source tools only. Previously, we got in a market for commercial tools, but the current IT market is going with open source tools only. So, if I am taking with open source tools, if I am taking with open source tools, we got in a tool is mentioning about taking with selenium. Okay. So, we got in a tool is mentioning about selenium. It is not like only selenium. We got in another tool mentioning about taking with Sahi and then mentioning about another tool mentioning about auto IT and then having with one more tool that you will be taking with Sikoli here. If I am considering all these particular tools, consider as a 
open source automation tools. If you want to be work, these particular tools not required to get invest any budget here. So if you think about client perspective, client doesn't require to spend any budget and users also doesn't require to take any license. Just if you're having internet connection, you can download from Google and you can start working with the tools here. If I'm taking all these particular tools, there are a lot of tools are there. If I'm comparing all these particular tools, the major market we are getting working with Selenium here, okay. If I am taking with the current market, the current market is done with Selenium part. So we have to be understand that why we are getting more market for Selenium, what make the advantages while work with Selenium here, okay. So for now, we are understanding that getting doing with software testing, as part of software testing, we need to be take with manual testing and we need to be take with automation testing. If you want to be getting a job as a tester, only manual testing will not be working out. Only automation testing will not be working out. You guys need to be comfortable with doing manual testing and doing automation testing. Then only it will become an easy to get in a job as a test engineer and to survive in the job as a tester here. So for that, first we need to be get understand manual testing. Once we are getting comfortable with manual testing, the need to be get started with automation testing. That automation testing also we are going to learn with Selenium here. Okay, so we have to be understand that what make the advantages of Selenium and as part of Selenium, what are all the things we have to be learn it that we'll understand in the next session. So in the next video, we'll get discussed about what is mean by Selenium, what make the advantages of Selenium here. Okay, thank you.